Hello everyone. Welcome to the Story Wagon where we uncover the most fascinating stories from history to the modern age. Today, we have a wild one for you. The unbelievable invasion of cane toads in Australia. Over 200 million cane toads are currently taking over Australia, wreaking havoc on its ecosystems. But how did it all start? And why can't we stop them? Buckle up and grab a drink because this is a story of science gone horribly wrong. Back in the early 1900s, Australian farmers had a problem. Their sugarcane fields were under attack by beetle grubs. They needed a solution fast. Enter scientist Reginald Montgomery who thought, hey, cane toads worked in Puerto Rico, Hawaii and the Philippines. Why not Australia? Montgomery brings in 102 cane toads from Hawaii. The idea? They'd eat the beetles, the beetles would stop eating sugar cane and farmers would be happy. But, small problem. Nobody checked if the toads would actually eat the beetles. Spoiler alert, they didn't. Instead, the toads multiplied like crazy and started devouring everything except the beetles they were supposed to control. With no predators and an unstoppable appetite, the cane toads began their conquest of Australia. They spread at 50 kilometers per year, hopping their way across the continent. The worst part? Cane toads are highly toxic. One bite can kill native predators like quolls freshwater crocodiles and snakes. Their toxin can cause paralysis, heart failure and death in both animals and humans. And no, licking a cane toad won't get you high. It'll just make you extremely sick. Sorry, urban legends. Here's another terrifying fact. Female cane toads lay up to 30,000 eggs twice a year Compare that to native frogs, which only lay a few hundred. This means cane toads completely flood ecosystems with their offspring. Within one to three days, eggs hatch into tadpoles, and in just a few weeks, boom, more toads ready to invade. After decades of research, the sad truth is, there's no easy way to stop them. The Australian government has spent millions trying to control them, but these slimy invaders are too good at surviving. Scientists have tried trapping them near water sources, building fences to block them, experimenting with viruses and biological controls. But in the end, these toads keep hopping forward. At their current rate, cane toads will invade the Western Australian coast in just two years. They've already wiped out predators in Kakadu National Park, and they're not stopping anytime soon. Some native animals, like certain snakes, are evolving to avoid eating them. But let's be real. This war is far from over. Cane toads are here to stay. So, the next time you see a cane toad, don't underestimate it. It's not just a warty little amphibian. It's a conqueror. What do you think? Will Australia ever defeat the cane toads? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this deep dive into one of Australia's biggest ecological disasters, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the Story Wagon. Got a crazy topic in mind? Drop your suggestions below and we might feature it in our next video. Until next time, stay curious, stay safe and for the love of nature, stay away from toads.